Hi friends and welcome back to our Blooming Catholic Life, our Lexio Divina series. We're ending the prophecy of the comforter. <laughs> um, you can see I did rearrange things. I brought down my servant of God, John Bradburn picture and prayer card, but now that space seems so empty. I don't know. I'll have to figure stuff out and it's blocking a lot of books. Aha, I'll figure it out. If you've got ideas though, put it in the comments below. Let's jump in and get started. Um, I know it's Wednesday, so this is a midweek check-in. And I know for me, I was really reflecting on that idea of the summertime retreat and carving out that time for the Lord. One of the nice things about summer is the day is longer. You can get up. A, okay, I know in the beginning of summer, you're probably going to sleep in a little bit more if you can. Even just those few minutes if you're working from home, you know, make all the difference, right? But it's getting light earlier. So it's a great time. Catch up on your sleep, recover, but then maybe get up a little earlier and it's light out a little bit later. So maybe don't fall into that habit of just watching TV every night. Maybe instead spend some time outside in nature, take your Bible out there. One lovely thing, um, gonna think, I feel like this was Scott Hahn, but it might've been Jeff Cavins. I apologize guys. Um, I don't know which one I heard say this. I really think it's one of you, not 100% sure, but that they had their Bible and they underlined in their Bible. That's not something that I generally do, but this is something that they did um, as a way to focus and study. And so he had gone through and one day his wife borrowed his Bible. Oh, maybe this is Matt Fratt. I really don't know. I apologize. I feel like it's somebody out <laughs> don't know. Um, their wife had borrowed the Bible and she took like an ink pen and underlined verses. And at first he was sort of angry because it kind of disturbed his peace and his flow and where he was thinking. Um, and then he realized it was showing him the heart of his wife and the verses that were speaking to her. And how lovely. Recently at my niece's bridal shower, they actually had different colored highlighters out or you could highlight a favorite Bible verse. You could sign your name to it or not. Just highlight it to call her attention to that. And I thought that was a lovely idea as well to get to know the heart of someone. What is your five favorite Bible verse? So that's just something that you could even share during the summer. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to build a whole lesson on it. You could even just have like a little community Bible. Maybe when you sign in, if you sign in for your meeting, um, your Bible study, whatever you're doing for the summer, sign in with a Bible verse. And then everyone gets that Bible verse. And maybe when they have quiet time or they're doing a holy hour, they could reflect on those as well. It's a lovely little idea to help you get to know people a little bit more. You get to know their heart. It is definitely a vulnerability being able to share that. Some people will pick something that everybody picks, right? But some people will really be vulnerable and show you the Bible verse that's really speaking to their heart in that moment, or maybe one that has sustained them in difficult times. You could pick a theme, whatever. Um, let people know the night before what the theme is going to be the next day or whatever. So they can have some time to prepare if you really want them to open up and be vulnerable about it, that they have one that they're ready to write down. Just a fun sharing idea to help build a relationship in community. <laughs> Sorry, that went someplace I wasn't even expecting. Let me get a little sip here and we can begin. <clears throat> when I'm filming, we're still getting the um, smoke from the wildfires up in Canada. <clears throat> oh, golly. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll try and watch that. In nomine patris et filii et spiritus sancti. Amen. Sume glorioso Deus, illumina tenebras cordis mehi et da mihi fidem rectum, spem certin et caritatem perfectum, domini ut facium tuum sanctum et verax mandatum. Amen. And the Lord will give a commandment concerning thee, that no more of thy name shall be sown. I will destroy the graven and molten thing out of the house of thy God. 
I will make it thy grave, for thou art disgraced. Behold, upon the mountains, the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, and that preacheth peace. O Judah, keep thy festivals, and pay thy vows, for Bilal shall no more pass through thee again. He is utterly cut off. And the Lord will give a commandment concerning thee, that no more of thy name shall be sown. I will destroy the graven and molten thing out of the house of thy God. I will make it thy grave, for thou art disgraced. Behold upon the mountain the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, and that preacheth peace. O Judah, keep thy festivals, and pay thy vows, for Bilal shall no more pass through thee again. He is utterly cut off. And the Lord will give a commandment concerning thee, that no more of thy name shall be sown. I will destroy the graven and molten thing out of the house of thy God. I will make it thy grave, for thou art disgraced. Behold upon the mountain, he that brings good tiding and preaches peace. O Judah, keep thy festivals and pay thy vows, for Bilal shall no more pass through thee again. He is utterly cut off. Amen, friends. Benedicat tibi dominus et custodiat te, ostendat dominus facium suum tibi, et miserator tui, convertat dominus voltum suum a te, et dominus bonus det tibi pacem. Amen. In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen.